Hey guys, it's Kristen with HK Wax Center. Um, now, before I get started, if anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, um, you just want to say if this video helped or not, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. Um, and I love hearing your feedback on what you like and what you don't like. So let me know. Um, now for this video, I've done a Brazilian tutorial before. I did it on paper where I basically drew out a bunch of vaginas and then just showed you guys step by step how I would, um, like the technique that I used to lay the wax in the pattern that I would do. However, only problem with that is because it's paper, you can lay the strip, but you can't actually remove it, which that's half the battle is removing it. So uh, Mermaid Wax came out with these silicone practice mats. Um, I've got one right here, but basically it's just a silicone mat that uh, you can use to practice laying and removing wax strips. Um, the really cool thing about the practice mat is that you can, it's a clean sanitary area, so you can also remove the wax and then reuse it, <laughs> which is huge because wax, you mean, if you're just practicing and trying to figure out your skill and technique and stuff, you don't really want to have to go through and use a bunch of wax that you don't get any money back on. Um, like if you're taking a client, they pay you for your service. So the silicone practice mat is amazing because you can practice as much as you want. It's a clean sanitary area. You can remove the wax. There's no hair in it because you know, just clean it up with rubbing alcohol. Um, and then you can put the wax back in your pot and melt it down again. Absolutely ingenious. Oh my gosh. I love it. So I thought I would recreate the video that I did on paper and do it on a practice mat. That way I can uh, not only lay the strips, but also show you how I remove them too. So for this um, video, I'm going to be using um, Mermaid Wax, uh, their experimental series. So it's right here. This is actually a glow in the dark wax. Um, now you don't have to, like for one, I don't recommend waxing in the dark. <laughs> um, it's really just for marketing. So if you turn the lights off, it glows, maybe post some pictures on social media, something like that. But um, not only is it a glow in the dark wax, but it's also just a really high quality wax too. So super elastic. I love it. So that's what I'm using for this video. Um, let's get started, shall we? All right, let me put this down so that y'all can see. Okay, I've got a Sharpie here because I discovered that um, if I wax over the lines I created with my Sharpie, I will actually wax them off. Uh, Sharpie does not stick to silicone really at all. So, I learned that today. Um, now I've already, we're gonna pretend I've already cleansed the area. Um, I'm not wearing gloves because I'm waxing a silicone mat, but of course, always wear gloves. When you're doing a Brazilian, God forbid, always wear gloves. Uh, the first two strips I'm going to do are going to be the bikini line strips. So I'm gonna lay a strip right here and a strip right here. Um, now this is a woman who is uh, laying in like butterfly position, so her knees would be bent outwards and then her feet would be together. So this is kind of like the picture that you would see. But, um, but yeah, so we're gonna do two bikini line strips right there. So let me get a little bit of wax. The hair is growing down in this case, which is why I'm going to lay the strip going down. So I'm gonna try not to actually touch the uh, Sharpie because like I said, I discovered that I will just wax that right off. All right, and then we're gonna do this side. Ready. Okay, just like that. Now for this one, so we're, we laid the strips in the direction of the hair growth, so we're going to remove the strips in the opposite direction. So when you remove a strip, I always uh, put pressure right at, like the, uh, right at the base of the strip. I will flick up once and then pull just like that. And then right here, again, we're gonna put pressure at the base, flick up once, and then pull. Perfect. Okay, now there are two types of um, clients. So there's clients that 
just naturally have a lot of hair and there's clients that naturally don't. Um, the people that do have a lot of hair, you are going to see right here, there is hair growing upward. Um, some people skip this step. I, I don't like to because uh, if you put wax, like say right the next, you know, say you're gonna put a wax strip right here. If you lay a wax strip right here down the labia, you're going to catch all of these hairs right here that are growing up. You're gonna break them. It's gonna hurt the client. They're gonna be upset. You're gonna feel bad. So it's best if they have any hair here, get rid of this first. That way when you lay your labia strips, you're then pulling from an area that doesn't have any hair. Um, this is something that I just kind of learned on my own. So this is, again, it's kind of like a little um, secret trick, <laughs> but uh, this has changed my life. So I'm gonna lay two strips right here. And they're gonna be relatively small because it's, it is a tiny area. So, well, I'm gonna have to wax over this little strip right there, oh well. Oh well, but yeah, we're just kind of going right up there and then we're gonna end, end the lip right here. So this area does not have hair because I already removed it with my uh, bikini line strip. So that's why I'm ending it here and not right here. If I end it here, I'm gonna pull from an area that has hair, which defeats the entire purpose of what we're doing. So end it in a place that does not have hair. And then we'll do the same for this side. We're gonna go up. Like that. And then lastly in this step, I'm going to lay a strip right across here. Um, this hair kind of goes, tends to go inward like this. So I'm going to lay it here and then just kind of pull it up to the top a little bit so I can uh, end the strip in an area that does not have hair. Just go up a little bit like that. Okay. Now, because I laid these two strips going up and this one this way, these two, I'm gonna pull downwards like that. Let's see, and now that's gone. <laughs> I'll fix it in a second. And then here, pull downwards. And this one across the top, put pressure on the outside, lift it up and pull. All right, let me redraw these real quick just so my little model here. Please, I'm like a model. Okay, um, so now that the hair is clean from here, the hair is clean from here, and we've got the hair clean right here. So we're gonna lay our two labia strips right here. Now this is another thing that is kind of, um, depends on the client. Every client's different. So it's not just like one pattern fits all. It's the wrong way to look at it. You're always gonna have to slightly adjust the way you do your Brazilian depending on the client. So um, there's two, there's, two types of people. There's people that they have like right here in between the two labias, there's a little gap. So you can easily lay two strips or there's people where their labias touch. So if you have someone where the labia touches even in butterfly position, do not lay two wax strips here simultaneously. If you do that, the wax in the center is gonna stick and your client's gonna be stuck together and they're gonna wanna murder you. So, um, if, if they the labias do touch, just lay one strip at a time. Um, if they don't, then you're able to lay both strips and you're not going to, you know, basically glue the client together. So in this case, I'm gonna pretend that the labia is not, or the two labias are not touching, and I'm gonna use this as my little gap. So. We are going to do one right here. Now that this area is clear, I can easily wax downward and not be concerned about pulling from an area that's gonna hurt them. And then I'm gonna do this side. the lip at the end. Now you also have the ability, if you're a newer waxer, you I probably would not recommend to just lay a, a full length labia strip. I would break it up into two. So back at European Wax Center, that's what they would tell us to do. So you would do 
the bottom half first. You would just do like a little baby strip here, remove that, and then do the top one. Top one, remove it. Um, so it, you're breaking the layup up into twice. It takes longer, but it's better to do a good and thorough job than just care about your speed. So it's a little tidbit for you. Now we've done this strip here, but I still have to do an equal one on this side. So I'm going to lay a strip right over here. Okay, so now we can remove, so I'll push down here, click, and remove. I'm just like waxing my entire, this poor thing's vagina fall off while my, while my lines are going away. And right there. <laughs> and then this one, and remove. Okay, let me draw this back on again. I'm just gonna keep creating more vaginas. Cool. Okay. So um, now these two are gone. This is clean and these two bottom ones are clean as well as the bikini line. So we're getting there. We're almost done. Um, now there is going to be, we're kind of working with like this cluster of hair right here. Now right here, right where the two ladies meet at the top, um, this is probably the most painful part of the Brazilian. So you want to be very cautious when waxing this part and not to hurt your client more than necessary. Um, a lot of these hairs will cross each other. Um, so you really kind of want to look out for that. And there's going to be like a large amount of hairs right here for most people, not everybody, but in a lot of cases, especially if it's their first one, this is where a lot of the hairs just kind of cluster together. So whenever laying a strip, because keep in mind, we still have hair pretty much all over here and on these sides up here. Um, I will, of course you're wearing gloves, I will take my finger and I will stick it in between the two labias. So when I lay a strip right here, there's no chance of the of the wax crossing over to the other side and tugging on hair on this side. So, um, so yeah, I just lay a finger right there. Some people even take another stick and lay a stick right there. That works too. Um, but you just, again, you don't want to cross over to this side and bring it over because that's going to hurt them a whole lot more than you actually need to. So... Do again, I'm gonna lay my finger right there. So I'm going to do a strip up here. Like that. And then another strip on this side, because this crease, we've done the outside, but we haven't done the inside of this crease. So that's gonna be the next step. So we'll do one right here. Okay, so now I can push down here, click up, and remove. And then same on this side, push down, flip up, and whoop, remove. Okay, and again, draw again. There we go. All right, so then um, now we're basically just going to reverse what we just did. So I will lay a strip here and then do the other one right there. It can seem daunting at first. Again, put a finger right here. Actually, at this point, now there's no hair, so there's really no need to. I just realized that. That was stupid. Um, but it can seem daunting at first, like doing your first Brazilian. I know in aesthetic school, I would have loved um, a video that would really break it down. Um, because we were taught with soft wax, but we didn't really get into the hard wax a whole lot. Um, and it really would have been helpful just to have something that like step by step shows you exactly how to do it. Cause this whole thing, it just, it, it was very intimidating to me to attempt to whack someone. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to hurt him, but, um, hopefully, hopefully this helps. Okay. Um, so now. These two are good to remove. One. And two. And again, we're going to 
draw some more. <laughs> Okay, so now 95% of the wax is done. Um, the only thing you have left to do would be cleanup strips. Um, okay, cleanup strips are strips that you do at the very end when most of the hair is gone, but there's still a couple little stragglers that decided to not come out. Um, you lay them extremely thin. You pull them when they're still slightly tacky. And then um, you lay them in the opposite way you laid your first strips. So if you've, you know, you've watched all my strips pretty much went down except for these two little guys right here. Cleanup strips are all going to go upwards instead. So um, I'm going to do, first one I'll do a cleanup strip right here up the slavia. And then I'm actually going to lay a second bikini line strip going up here. So I always do opposites. That way if I lay a strip here and then do a bikini line strip here, there is a chance the wax here can touch. Um, and again, it's just gonna hurt your client. So opposites always. So I will do a strip here and then one right there. Again, you lay these really thin. Make a lip at the end. Come back down. side and all the way up come around again you pull these while they're still slightly tacky that really allows the wax um, like because most of it most times like fine hairs so the tackier the wax that can really help grip those hairs pull it off and yes I'm going to have to draw this on again for the final time <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow, this is difficult. Oh my goodness. It's sticking in my hand. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we will do the opposite side. This is so weird because it's a flat surface and I'm used to having someone with like curves. <laughs> it's a weird thing to get used to. All right, so we got that one. And then the bikini line strip on this side. Always use a lot of pressure when waxing somebody. Don't worry, you're not going to hurt them. But that will allow the wax to really... Um, grip at the base of the hair where the hair and the the skin meet you want to get as close to that as possible so again here i will remove that way and then this one like that okay yeah. All right, now we just have two more steps and we are done. So um, we're going to lay a big cleanup strip across here. And then if you really need to, most of the time you won't, but just in case you can always do one more across this way. case it's just a precaution to show you what you might have to do everyone's different you know you just don't really know until you get in there and start doing it so then we'll pull it this way like that and then we'll do my last one across this side now at this point if there is anything still left over after all this that we just did um, I will then grab my tweezers and I will just tweeze any leftover stragglers out there shouldn't be more than like two or three but again um, and that is if you, they have any at all uh, most of the time they won't but sometimes some of them just tend to be really really stubborn so um, but in that event then you would just um, what am I trying to say grab your tweezers there we go Awesome, so that is step-by-step uh, -step how you would do a Brazilian wax. Um, I will have another video that shows how to do um, the butt strip in the back. 
So you'll see that coming. I'll actually link it down below. Um, and then I'm going to do one as well that will do the bikini line to show you that too. So if you just want the bikini line, not the entire thing, super easy. Hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching. Any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to help you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye guys.